Hey superstars, welcome back to another one of my autograph videos where I make some art and bug a sports ball player for an autograph. I'm going to another in-person signing, but first I want to take you in the Wayback Machine. Picture it, Northeast Ohio, summer 1988. Little Scott's wearing his short shorts and his I'm a Pepper t-shirt and he falls in love. But not with girls, my friends. No, girls still have cooties in 1988. It was a global pandemic, much like the one we're living in today. So definitely not girls. I'm talking about baseball. And I'm talking about the Cleveland Indians with larger than life figures like Julio Franco in his contorted swing and the Tower of Power, Mr. Joe Carter and a shiny golden mulleted power hitting rock star known as Corey Snyder. These were my heroes, my gods, my idols that year, and I got to meet all of them, except for Corey, until last weekend. Eventually, the hot ticket in the baseball card world was the 1985 Mark McGuire Olympic rookie card, but not to this guy. Oh no, Corey was also on that Olympic team and had his own card. And you can only imagine how much I love that card. So I was inspired by that to render Mr. Snyder in his Olympic uniform for this signing. That Olympic team was stacked with stars like Barry Larkin, Will Clark, Shane Mack, Odeb McDowell, BJ Surhoff, and Bobby Witt, but none of them had the golden locks like my boy Corey. They cruised through most of the tournament and they were the favorites to win it all but ended up losing to Japan and brought home the silver. And then they didn't even get medals. What's up with that 1984 Olympics? But I'm pretty sure Corey still brought home some gold medals for archery, rowing, gymnastics, lifting, and mullet grooming. So it's all good. So the signing was at Triple Play Sports Cards near Columbus, Ohio and put on by my good friends at R&J Promotions. Mr. Snyder loved the print. I made one for him, one for the promoter, one for me, and one for autographs for a cure. So you can buy a signed Corey print if you have great taste like I do. Uh, I just shipped it yesterday so he doesn't have it yet, but I'm sure if you go over there and contact Mike you can work something out. I also picked up this 84 Olympic baseball at an antique mall a couple of years ago. I had him sign that for me too, so yeah, it was a great day for 1988 Scott. I didn't even get any cooties. Go me. Uh, yeah, so like, comment, subscribe, yada yada yada, and we will see you on the next one.